to our hot girl summer series and um some of our hot girl summers are going to be freaky period yeah. how about you is yours going to be freaky it's going to be freaky and i'm trying to freakier it uh make it freaky make it freakier okay yeah we're trying to make it spicy yes. for the summer. Mm -hmm. so we have the perfect person here to speak with us y'all when i went on her instagram when i say <laughs> my mind was blown i'm like oh shit okay what the fuck can oh, please yeah so, you were sending posts you're like trying this yeah. trying this out i'm like okay <laughs> i have saved so many damn positions it's crazy so we have samaya of sexual essentials with us she is a sexual health and wellness expert who works to increase the knowledge pleasures and desires for amazing sexual experiences um this is what i need and she also works to normalize sexual expression and self-pleasure which i'm a fan of yes a large fan of samaya so, welcome <laughs> to the show thank you hi how do it good so how are good. you it feels it's feeling like a hot girl summer yes yes <laughs> yes, yes. It's, it's, you know, you know what, you know what is, well, first of all, hey, y'all who listening, hey. Yes. Um, but you know what it's feeling real like? Like, I could do both. It's feeling like I could have a man and have hot girl summer. Mm. And and I think that's different. I think that a lot of us are really opening up to the fact that we have, like, I guess the word is, like, duality. Yes. yes. Like, like, you know, some double take shit. We got two sides. Yes. I, I can be, me being a hot girl ain't got shit to do with me having a man. That's something I'm doing for my goddamn self. Period. Talk about it. Talk and that's about what, it. I, you know, we're doing hot girl shit and our boo boos are picking us up. Yeah. That's the type of energy. Or I'm looking for a boo boo that will pick me up next time. Yes. You you I know it's popping. Me, be, me being a thigh ain't got nothing to do with how I feel about you. And me being a thigh <laughs> don't mean it actually. Never mind. Let's get into it. Let's, Let's get, get into, into it. it. <laughs> yeah. We're definitely getting picked up by our niggas after. That's what We're I like. We're just doing the hot girl stuff during the day and taking some of our little hot girl tendencies. To the bedroom. Yes. So, Samaya, tell our listeners about you, who you are. We gave a little brief intro, but you do so many things. Let them know who the fuck you are. I be sucking dick. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey. Um, my name is Samaya, and I'm the owner of Sexual Essentials. And Sexual Essentials is a company that was made to educate people, hands-on educating, to help them create the sex life that that they want. Mm -hmm. So I know some things sound really twisty. This is not twisty. This is exactly what I'm telling you. I created hands-on classes for you to figure out how to do what you want to do in the bedroom. Because a lot of times the things we want to do, they're kind of stuck in imagination mode. They're stuck in daydream mode. They're stuck in, I don't want to be judged mode, mm -hmm. right? But we don't really know how to present, communicate, or actually do, even if someone told us, yes, yeah, sometimes we don't even know what the fuck to do. Like yeah. somebody was like, oh yeah, you could do this to me. We don't know how to do it. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> shit gets dangerous, you know? So, you know, um, I, I really do help people create the sex life they want because I want people to stop faking orgasms. Mm -hmm. And I know that that's like a really hot topic, but nobody actually teaches you how to communicate. Mm -hmm. They teach you how to try to fix the orgasm issue instead. But you can't even fix the orgasm issue without actually telling the person, hey, I've actually never had an orgasm with you or I mm. actually fake it sometimes. Ooh. Ooh. And, you know, we'd be trying to be serious because you're oh. and it doesn't work because if you're coming, they don't see the issue. And that goes for men and women. Um, there are men out there that are like, you know, and of course, every relationship is not heterosexual, but I'm just giving random examples. Right. Mm -hmm. There are so many men out there that are in love and so unsatisfied. Mm -hmm. And it's like every time they bring up not being satisfied, it's like, well, I had a baby and I did this and I did that. And we're not saying those things aren't true. 
But guess what? We're going to cater to helping him sort through that and help you sort through that. Yeah. Right? Nobody's issue is bigger than the other. Let's all just work on the sexual essentials, you know? So mm-hmm. I help people create the sex life that they want. They have to be able to say what's missing, though. If you can't say it and you just want me to give tips and all these things, like, it's, just, it's not going to work. We got to be honest, you know? So that's that's what I do. I help people have their first, oh, my gosh, I help thousands of people have their first orgasm. Well, damn. Most of their first time having multiple orgasms. That's the name of my game. I have helped. I helped. <laughs> <laughs> I helped. <laughs> So many people try to figure out how to open up their relationship or like have a threesome or, you know what I mean? But all these things coming from a real sexual place, not like a, okay, yeah, my titties need to be a real person. Are we recording? Fix the girls. Fix the girls. I'm a real person. And guess what? You are. So what's up? We love um, that. We love that about you. It, they, they sag, but guess what? I don't understand <laughs> what it's talking about, because guess, guess what? It's my hot girl summer. Exactly. So, so um, I have a question. Yes. Samaya, how exactly did you get into this work? Were you dissatisfied or just, ex, uh, you know, interested in pleasure? Like, what exactly triggered you to say, this is the business for me, and I'm going to also help other women or uh, people find pleasure? I'm hollering. She say, bitch, was your shit wet? What? <laughs> what? I'm, that's real. That's real because a lot of people actually don't say those words. They're like, so how'd you get started? They really be wanting to say, bitch, was it bad? What yeah. was it? You know, that's real. That's real. Actually, I was having good sex. Mm. I've actually almost always had good sex. I've had bad sex before, but after I had bad sex, I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, um, I got started in this because after I had um, my child, now that I'm having more mommy conversations, I was meeting so many mothers that had never, that did not have an orgasm when they got pregnant. So now they're three sizes bigger. They got stretch marks. So oh, they, shit. You know, yeah. their figure, they got, you know, they coochies to her. They had to get <laughs> stitches. That was a bitch on Twitter that said she lost her goddamn teeth. Bitch. Yeah. That was people that was going through <laughs> shit, right? Mm-mm. And they didn't even catch a nut. Yeah. They yeah. They didn't even have an orgasm. When they got pregnant. Mm-mm. And it's like, at this point, like, I'm putting all these miles on my pussy for what? Yeah. <laughs> That's, I refuse to have sex with a person. And I know pleasure is not just okay. restrictive to an orgasm, but I refuse to lay down with you multiple time after time. And there's nothing happening. I just refuse. And it's not even pleasurable. See, the thing is, orgasm is, isn't even always the goal. But most times, a lot of women are kind of laying there waiting for it to be over. They are not even pleasured, yeah. technically. We just, we love them and we're glad they're touching us. Or either like, I saw a tweet that said, well, sometimes when you lay with people, it's the only good type of affection they're giving you. Mm. And so that feels good. And I was like, well, damn, bitch, snatch my wig. I mean, <laughs> and I got locks, but whatever. Yeah, just snatch um, them, take them off. So, you know, it. I was like, okay, this is really real. And it honestly, it didn't hit me. I just assumed everybody was fucking with the person more than once because they were catching nuts. And I realized they weren't. They were mm. actually with people. And I'm like, damn, I've actually always been kind of vocal. And so for me, it was like, okay, I'm the person that has no shame. Mm. So after I went through all this childbirth stuff, I was just happy that I had caught a nut when I got, when I conceived. Yeah. <laughs> And so I was like, oh my gosh, all these women haven't. I got to do my part to stay in the rainforest. I got to tell everybody, oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. I got I to gotta make her pussy pop. Like, right. I, I was just trying. And then, and then, and then I thought about like all the people that weren't happy after they had a baby. And a lot of that is men, right? Um, there are a lot of women who have accepted their new sexuality, but there are so many men that are still so attracted to their girl despite, and not despite, but like loving on her tiger stripes. And yeah. Loving on, Yes, and loving on that and like, yo, you so sexy. Like, all of that is just a, a figure that, hey, you had my baby or like, I just still love you, period. And women can't even accept it because they're not getting pleasure and have never spoken about it. And now he's not getting pleasure. And so then he go oh, cheat. Like, I, I tell people all the time, I think that a lot of cheaters, like some cheaters are just dog ass cheaters. They yeah, give a fuck. period. But there are some cheaters that are fucking in love, but they have needs and everybody acts like, sexual needs are not like real everybody like sex ain't everything sex ain't everything until it is right you're not you know what i mean like 
sex ain't everything, but having great sex is everything. Because when you're having it, you're like in it. And like, if I devote like my life and spend it with you and we share like a chat, like I deserve, I deserve certain needs to be met. And the fact that like we're skipping over an entire need Mm -hmm. and now we saying like sex ain't everything. Oh, okay. So I just, I wanted to help like relationships stay together because so many people, you know, are not satisfied Mm -hmm. and that just goes on both ends of the spectrum. This is not a man bashing place. This is not a woman bashing place. It's a, I'm going to serve y'all up the real tea for anybody that wants to fucking order a cup. (laughs) Okay. So yeah, we have it here. (laughs) Period. Starbucks, if you will. (laughs) So like, what's the difference between a sex educator and an intimacy coordinator? So a sexual educator is kind of like just teaching those who want to learn, right? And then an intimacy coordinator is movies, TV shows, like people that are trying to create a plot of some sort or make an event and they're trying to get research on how to make this realistic, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, let me call in an expert to make this realistic you ever seen a a show where the sex scene was bad as fuck like damn i thought i was gonna come to this shit but i guess (laughs) i just watched the motherfucking show like you know (laughs) and then you watch some shows like she's gotta have it and next thing you know instead of masturbating to pornhub you fucking masturbating to her and all these different parts because they shit was just like okay yes is realistic i can see myself there things like that so it's like intimacy coordinator is coordinating things for Mm. whatever type of person, whether you got a music video or whatever, I can coordinate an intimate scene for you and say, hey, everybody needs to do this. And then a sexual educator is just say, hey, this is how I've learned to coordinate intimately. Got it. Ooh, child. So. Ooh, child. Y'all got a drink. Of tea. We've been having. I don't know why we're sipping tea. We need to be having drink. (laughs) You looking at her drink like, bitch. But it's empty too. Tea is empty. So with these conversations, like you said that you're naturally bold and direct, but what about the women who aren't? Like, what are what is what is your suggestion for the women who have a hard time being like, uh, because that can be uncomfortable, right? Like letting somebody know that I'm not not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. So what are some some tips or suggestions that you give to people who may find themselves struggling with letting their partner know that? The thing ain't thinging. Yeah. Or maybe the thing it's not even the thing. Maybe it's what I'm doing with my thing ain't thinging. Like but (laughs) the the math trouble. I got a yeast infection. I got this going on. Like the real life shit. Girl. Um, Because I I had somebody who was running me down and the reveal the revealing of I have a little bit of yeast. Yeah. It's always embarrassing. You be like clutching your curls. Make a loaf of bread so we can benefit from no. I have. To open up the okay. I've had to tell a person I've had a yeast infection. Not right now. I have a yeast infection. No, for infection. real, for real. Like, and I have those conversations. So what I've what I've realized is that part had nothing to do with bold me. Mm. Bold me was me teaching people how to suck dick online. Mm. That oh. was bold me. That was what was bold. Right. Being in situations where you love and care about people, and you just need to be able to tell them the truth for you to get your betterment. That was something different. Mm. That had to do with choosing me. That had nothing to do with being bold, anything. I just, I realized that so many of us choose others because we're trying to keep them and preserve them and Mm -hmm. we like what we're in and Mm -hmm. we don't want to hurt feelings. We don't want to be offensive, but we're just choosing to preserve the pain that's going to come inevitably because you're either going to be resentful or you're going to start getting grumpy or whatever you have to choose you your only responsibility in life is to take care of you Mm -hmm. when you start taking care of everybody else you're going to do a half-assed job because you don't know exactly what they feel all the time and you're taking care of responsibilities that actually aren't yours and now you're going to leave yourself open to not being the best you you can be because you're not taking care of you first Mm -hmm. i take care of me first and you take care of you first and then we get together with what's left Bitch, it's a motherfucking house party. Period. When I'm trying to take care of you and ain't nobody taking care of me. Right. Now I'm pissed. A yeah. bitch got an attitude. Yes. Don't let my period come. Ooh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Versus me actually picking ourselves is difficult. Mm-hmm. It's because it's like 
I love being with you. I'm so infatuated. It's so new. It feels so great. But guess what? There are certain difficult things you have to do in relationships, such as have space, such as tell the truth that are going to hurt from momentary, momentarily. Yeah. But in the long term, you're going to have so much connection, so much openness. I know you like when you think about long term couples. A lot of them like I know them like the back of my hand. You can't know anybody like the back of their hand if you don't tell them things you don't like. Mm-hmm. Because that's not knowing anybody like the back of their hand. Part, and, ooh, and now you're preaching. A real connection with a person is like, you know what? Oh my gosh, this didn't make you happy. Can you show me how to do that? It's like literally taking myself and stop personalizing every fucking thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Taking everything personal and saying, oh, you feel that way? Well, I was doing this. How someone else feels I ain't got shit to do with you. Period. Mm-hmm. It really doesn't. Like how we feel and how we act emotionally those are two separate things. And so it's like, people think I'm just so bold and this is no, it's still difficult for me to tell my partner, hey, I actually don't like when you stick that part of the dick in my booty hole first because, you know, <laughs> like we gotta, you know. Yeah. Whatever, 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 whatever we gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> some people, some people, shit maybe, hey babe, I've been faking orgasms with you our whole relationship, ain't gonna lie to you, I don't even know if I ever came. <laughs> Ooh, I think shit. it's funny, but guess what? It's real nigga radio. Right. Yeah. What Period. is the percentage? Of women who actually come? At least six, no, 60% that are faking it. That are faking it, right. Or not having an orgasm. With men. Oh. If you have sex with yes. women, the orgasm just bang, right. bang. Or, or the same, actually, any same sex relationships are doing way better than heterosexual because there's a level of ego. When women and women are talking to each other, we understand each other. There's no ego because you're a woman and I'm a woman, mm-hmm. right? Um, there is some level of ego, but it's like, oh, what they're saying, I actually understand because I felt that before. Right. But men and women don't actually trust each other because we have so many things in media and this life that are putting us against each other that mm-hmm. are real. Mm-hmm. But so many other situations that have been created to make us you know be at odds ends yeah um and so men and women don't actually trust each other and it's been so much tit for tat for centuries that it's really difficult for people to open up and also like when people are in um like when someone is in like their taxi mode is what i call it when their light isn't their taxi light is on they're ready to date Mm. right um that's a moment, but you may not be ready to date. Now somebody get their feelings hurt, and guess what? Now they're taking it out on the next person they date because you simply weren't ready. Now they're like, oh, niggas do this, and niggas do that. And really, when really, as a generation, we are not really healing, mm-hmm. recovering, yeah, and then moving on. We're dating other people to help cover up that pain. Yeah. Instead, so we're not really feeling it, assessing it, and understanding what went wrong. We're just looking for place fillers to fill that void. And so when we fill a void, we're not actually fixing the problem. And now we're putting that problem on everybody else that comes thereafter. Mm. Um, but this is not, you know, a deep conversation. We're talking about sex and shit. So what's up? We're, we're talking, talking about, about it all. all. <laughs> we're talking about it all. Y'all could see, I didn't went all into it. I'm like, bitch, you said. No, you know, I love that. I love that. You know what? I, like, that's the sexual essentials is about not just the sex, it's about the essentials of making. Good sex, and most of the time, sex ain't got shit to do with sex. Mm. Mm. Somebody had to have sex like that, but connecting and having chemistry and really feeling seen, making my pussy feel seen when you're just talking to me. The pussy needs to be seen. Pussy needs to be seen. (laughs) (laughs) It needs to be. Then I'm like, hey, did you see her? Yeah. Did you see her? You don't have to ask. You will know. You will know. Okay, that thing will be thinging. Yeah. We're talking about everything. These are some good questions. I saw these hoes for y'all. So, <laughs> so, so what I want to know is, well, actually, first off, kudos, because you are very bold. You're so well-spoken. You're like, you have the, the duality is there, right? There's the depth. And then there's also, you know, and then there's also this side of you. <laughs> there's this side of you that's like fiery and sensual and sexual so because there's such a negative connotation around sex right people there's two things because we're not comfortable with it, it with ourselves therefore we're not comfortable talking about sex people create this stigma around 
sexual topics, people who are sexually liberated, especially on the internet, right? So because all of your work mainly is on the internet and being this vocal, bright person who's talking about sex open, how did you deal with the stigma or the backlash? Or, or is there any backlash with being this person online? Um, there's absolutely backlash. There's a divorce and there's backlash behind it. Mm -hmm. Damn. So, um, no, no, no. It's not terrible, though. It's not okay. terrible. It's choosing a life of sexual fulfillment and personal fulfillment means that you will lose some people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes after you already entered a life contract with them. Mm -hmm. But what I realize is that the resentment, the things that my child sees, you everybody gonna fuck up their kid in some way, some <laughs> fashion. Like every kid gonna need there because mm -hmm. we don't yeah. know what we're doing, and right. some things may affect someone's emotions differently, right? For sure. All I know is I need my child to see that my happiest self, and then whatever my best self did that may have hurt his feelings or whatever, let's deal with that. Yeah. But could you imagine staying in something and you're not? That's not your truth. Um, or people telling you like, oh, your pussy was on this and your pussy was on that. Like my pussy ain't on shit, to be honest. But okay. right. um, I have played with other people's pussy <laughs> on the internet. Not not porn, but I do demos. I do educational demos where yeah. I get volunteers and I show people how to do, like my Patreon videos. Yeah. I have videos of me actually doing certain classes on actual people. Oh, yeah. I ain't got to them ones yet. <laughs> But I will. No, we just just DM me. I'm gonna let you know about that information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So send the them Patreon to us. Lit. For fifteen dollars, it's you get a lit. Lot more than your eyebrows wax. It's okay? lit. Um, I get my eyebrows waxed for fifteen dollars. Period. It's over hundred and forty videos on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot. Um, it's a lot. And and ultimately, yes, I do get backlash. Like, oh, you doing this and you teaching people this. First of all, my block button works well. Second mm -hmm. of all, these hands ain't never missed. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Uh, but can you beat my ass? That's, right. That's, we we that's love honestly, to take it there. Me, it gets me through so many issues, but can you beat my ass? Right. Like, we love to say that. And, and if you can beat my ass, bitch, it's always a big burly bitch behind me that <laughs> yeah. you ask you can't beat. Right. Because the, the bitches who ask I can't beat, I just get friends with them. And it's right. The gang. Right. Come oh, on, girl. I'm with the gang. I'm with so the mob. Fuck fuckers you thinking? <laughs> That gets me through a lot of issues of my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. So most <laughs> things don't even hit, you know, the mm -hmm. fan. Yeah. But no, no, no. For real, is this like, um, you can't shame me about anything I've acknowledged. People are like, oh, you be sucking dick on the internet. Yeah. And I've actually saved a lot of marriages because there are so many women who were told they're not allowed to do this and do that. And so I teach them how to suck dick and they stay in their marriage. And they're like, bitch. Yeah, because bitch, I got time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got time. And guess what? You're in debt. <laughs> no, I not. can't suck it. It's not like I'm sucking dick on the internet and making a hundred dollars, right. right? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like you know, oh my gosh, I'm gonna wipe my tears with my my money tickets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's just I just I honestly I don't give a fuck because people gonna talk about me when when I thought I was lying for a good cause, people talked about me mm. when. I did things to help other people. People talked about me. When I was depriving myself, people talked about me. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, are you going to beat my ass? Right. <laughs> Goes back to At the end of the, the, the day. <laughs> that, that, that's what shit just got down to. And it's just like, or am I scared of them? Am I scared of what they said? And I'm not going to say like going viral is not scary. It yeah. is because like so many people misinterpret the things that you say. But at the end of the day, some people are out to do that. And when you just realize... Bitch, I'm not made for every room. Period. Right? Period. This is not, you know, gas station toilet paper around here, baby. This is, you know, double ply <laughs> around here. That's this charming. Is double ply material. Okay. That's charming. Period. Charming. Yeah. Like it's, it's a little bear singing. Like <laughs> this is this is something different. And if that's not what you want for your life, then bitch, then go. Know. Yeah. yeah, what are you here I just, for? I don't, you know what? I just realized I don't care. And when we put ourselves out there on social media, what we're opening ourselves up to is caring about what people think. Mm, that's if gospel. You don't what I think, I will block you in three seconds. But when I tell you my trigger finger so fucking fast, both of them, because the bitch <laughs> is lit. Yeah. Um, 
I don't play these games. When I tell you, I just I don't play the radio. I got a child. This is not for fake. Right. I'm doing the Lord's work. You I'm, are. You are. I'm, I'm doing my part to. I'm, I am. You yeah. really are. I'm doing my part to say the rain. I'm doing my part to say the rainforest. If that don't work for you, bitch, you're blocked. If you have anything else to say, like. Yeah. And that's Honestly, the thing, you know what? Think. That's that's what I think we have to realize because when I when I see your work, so the first time that I seen you was a uh, through Good Moms Bad Choices, Eric and Mila, and um, love those girls. I love y'all. I just want y'all to know. <laughs> I'm just really gonna take y'all on a date real soon. I know I've been slacking, but if y'all could please not divorce me, if you just give me a chance, give them right. a chance. Love them, and you did their live show, right? You did a yes. demo, and I be using that trick that drunk. you. I be doing that trick. I be yawning. I'm like, okay, and I got it. Yeah. We're going to shameless plug, though. That deep throat video is on Patreon, y'all. If y'all don't remember. You tap is. in, and it works. It does. And it works. Tap in, hope. Exactly. But when I, when I, when I, like, watched your content and stuff, I wasn't like, oh, my God, this, look at what she's doing. I'm thinking, like, this is educational. This is helping somebody. And a lot of times, People think Shit that helping us. right, but people think that education looks one way, you know, or like certain things you can't be educated about, like sex or, you know, things that are outside of the box or not as I don't even want to say acceptable. But, you know, we keep sex, hush, hush, low, low, you know, yeah. we keep that under low key. But when we have somebody like you who's talking about it, open, honest, it's like that's what we need so that we can stop being so shame, shameful about sex mm -hmm. and not being able to deal with um, our trauma maybe that might be around sex so we can actually experience that's pleasure. It. You know, so I just commend you for doing what you do and doing the Lord's work because it looks different for everybody. You know, you got to do your part. Right. But it ain't going to look like, nigga. Exactly. Yeah. It looks different for everybody. So I want to say thank you for doing what you're doing because you're helping not just people in marriages and saving div uh, people from getting divorced, but the regular homegirls like us. Who are fucking. The thing Period. is, girl, I thought she was about to say the regular hoes that's fucking. I fuck it. <laughs> we are doing yeah, that. We are. <laughs> Period. The hoes that's fucking. The thing I, is, we're all having I, sex. We are. So we need to be having enjoyable sex. And sometimes and that you're takes. Not, you're worried about what it's going to be like when you do. Mm. Yeah. Tap in. And we need to be living full lives instead of just getting our shit pounded and then mm. being like, oh, uh, and the thing is, if oh. we don't have tools like this, you would think that this is what you're doing is all that sex is. is and you'll never experience true pleasure, which is fucking miserable. Like yeah. it's miserable. And it's it also actually is kind of miserable because it is really like somebody getting pounded ain't terrible. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You really kind of don't like somebody you're like, oh, my gosh. You sure this is consensual? Because at some mm. point during the midst of this, it ain't no more. I'm good. You can just stop. I hate yeah. it. I hate it here. Uh -uh. I'm fine. I'm so, fine. So I, speak I, I, I withdraw. My <laughs> Let me go ahead and pack my <laughs> my pussy up and go. I ain't even I, got it on me. Okay, put it in this bag. Okay, put in this to go bag because it's time to pack that hole up and go. You know, um, I, I I appreciate that so much because there's so many people that don't accept what I have to mm. say and. I don't give a fuck, but I I will say that all of us are different, yeah. and I think that some people are intimidated by certain things that people have, and I know that because I've been one of those people. I used to be very intimidated by people that had, um, after I had a baby, you know, that had certain bodies, and mm -hmm. I was like, why is she wearing it, this, this, and it was only because I wanted to wear it, too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, you know what, instead of, instead of like having an issue, is there any way that I can like just connect and just say, hey, I, I love what you have on and da, 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 da. And most of those people have something to tell you to encourage you to wear it too, yes. right? Like it's not their fault their body looks that good, right? Um, I think that with sex is the same way. People think like, oh, she fucking, she getting good sex. She just talking about this, this, this. It took so much work. Like, I'll teach you, too. Mm. Don't knock it when that's what you want. Mm -hmm. You want it, too. You want to be able to be as free as me. Your yeah. free may look different than mine, but you wish that you were free about something. Mm. Period. You know? The liberation. And it is, it's, it is our job to be ourselves. It's nobody else's responsibility, you know? And, yeah, when you meet a stupid hoe that's <laughs> intimidate you, 
be her ass and just move the fuck on. But don't blame all everybody, all the other hoes for that shit. Like, we just try to be thot girls out here. Exactly. Right? Like, everybody is not on that. And a lot of, you know what? The, the source of a lot of this shit is just therapy. Mm-hmm. A lot of people need therapy. Mm-hmm. You need mm-hmm. to work through this and you're putting everything on everybody else. Yeah. When really that's what you want. Like, it's just sexual essentials is literally about the essentials of sex. And if you want great sex, you have to have a clear mind. Mm. That's oh, God really damn. the key. And we know and our minds be cloudy as hell. You know suck some dick and eat some pussy. <laughs> Speaking of sucking dick, so you offer these workshops. Get into it. <laughs> you you offer these workshops. They're like, I thought this was a juicy pie. <laughs> this what is. is I it, heard it was some dick gonna be. What is it? Is? Here it is. Here it is. It's like, like okay, okay, fat, okay. We gotta tell them to fast forward. What minute is this? Tell them to fast. Right. Put it in the comments. Hey, if y'all wanna hear the juicy shit, fast forward for a minute. Mm mm. I gotta, gotta listen to the whole thing. We ain't giving y'all no time. Stamps. Listen to all of it. Yeah. Get this the price. gyms okay. are. So you have right, your two. Well, gym. you have tons of classes, but two that stand out. All right, the how to suck a dick and the master riding class. These, these are two master classes, the how to ride and how to suck to a dick. I ain't gonna lie to you. We're gonna have a mini lesson right here. Woo, that's what we was waiting on. We about to have a lesson. Come on. So if so you're on Patreon, is. you're seeing think, this. I know, they, I know they think I'm about to say something crazy, but I'm not. Mm. In sex, somebody could do something and it's like, I don't want to be rude and I don't want to correct them. But I promise you, you're not gonna hurt nobody's feelings if they love and respect you. Mm. It is the mouth master class. The mouth mm-hmm. master. And there is a dick riding 101 class. There you go. And there is a masturbation and squirting class. We want to get and into the squirting angle, too. Germany ain't going to even be mad at me. She's going to be like, oh, oh, okay, thank you for correcting me. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's yeah, talk about she it. cares about sucking his dick, masturbating and squirting, and racking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to let y'all know that is exactly how good sex works. Just right there, that is an example. Somebody may do something and it's like, it's not wrong. I get what you're saying. But oh, can we just switch it up like this? Yeah, yeah. as an example, but but no, for real. If that, that, is, that is, those yeah. are the essentials. <laughs> it's those the dick riding, dick riding one hundred and one, yeah, and mouth master class. Mouth master class, and these are these are getting trademarked. So we're gonna use these names because use them. So what can one expect from those classes? Like, are you walking so, out a pro master. super head? What's happening when we walk out of these, these classes? The these are the facts. Facts. These mm. are the facts. So with the mouth master class, I always encourage everybody to get a dildo, right? Mm. Um, everybody's like, oh, can I use my man? Da, 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 da. Well, bitch, you've been faking with him or fucking up with him all the time. We need you to do something with a scratch. Practice. Scratch <laughs> Let's just, please, can we just have a moment, bitch? You, we will let you go to your man in a second. Don't be one of them thirsty hoes that just can't do shit without a man. Right. Oh, <laughs> Can well, we take a moment? Yeah, and, just separate. And in the class, I give you like at least four other things you can do with that dildo outside of that. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, uh, don't get me started. Y'all know on Patreon. Oh, y'all on Patreon. Make sure y'all watch the news and dirty talk video because I give you a whole bunch of shit to do with that dildo. That's anyway, what I, okay. So, mm. First of all, I need a dildo. That's the yeah, first step. I'm telling you, I like the one that I be suggesting on my website because it stick to shit. Okay. Yeah. So like you could throw your ass back in the shower. You could take some good news. You can fuck yourself so you can send it to Bay. Like, Ooh, I'm shut up. Sitting y'all booties on these dresses and these countertops to send it <laughs> It's a bay. Bitch, get some movement. Can we get a giffy? A jiffy? <laughs> Let me get, can we get some movement? Okay. Can we Wait get a, a video, second. Action Imagine Ooh. sending that. They'll be looking at their phone like this bitch done change. I'm saying, you trying to be you trying to be the best bitch or another bitch? Ooh. Best for 100. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. <laughs> Movies is okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the class. So in the class. Yeah. Um, but I always tell everybody to get the deal though, because I want you to practice with me, um, practice the way that we're actually trying to do it. When you bring a body into it, you're not going to do it to the same. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, but in these classes, I give you different exercises. So like in the dick riding one-on-one class, I give you not only different exercises and movements to do to open up like your, your hip and your yoni like activation. So like your yoni activation means, you know how like sometimes you're doing something sexual but you don't feel the sexual energy in your pussy yeah like it feels good it doesn't feel bad it kind of feels like a massage right but sex is not supposed to feel like a massage it's supposed to feel like it's connecting to you but we have so much trauma Mm -hmm. that's built up in our body parts like think about it your gynecologist touches you your gynecologist touches you and you don't feel turned on because you know you've learned the appropriate place to be turned on and not turned on right right Mm -hmm. you know mind you when people touch your pussy your pussy doesn't just like oh okay this is okay and this is not 
it takes some activation for it to feel like, okay, this is the moment to turn the fuck up. Yeah. Right. So like if writing classes have like five or six parts in them, it has different yoni activation movements, movements that to be perfectly honest, I did those when I recorded those videos, I had the best sex of my motherfucking life. Like mm. I was creamy and wet and ejaculating, but I even went and sat on the dick. Like I was like, hey babe, you available? All right, let's do this. There was no kissing, there was no touch. That's not even my thing. Like it was just like, hey, my pussy is ready, are you? Period. Period. You know, because of hip and yoni activation movements. There are different, a oh, lot of wow. us don't realize we have trauma, but guess what? When niggas walk past us in the club, guess what? He touch on you, you don't feel horny, do you? No, right. I feel you irritated. Have learned, you have learned to have a boundary. Right? Yeah, to suppress. So there are different, exactly. And mm -hmm. so there are different movements you can do to just like encourage that movement so that way your pussy is like, oh, the green light is on. Because okay, that's another class I need at this point. It's two of them on, it's two of them on Patreon, boo. Wow. See, what the fuck? I need to get It's to four in total. What the fuck? You mentioned squirting, and we were wait, actually- Wait, we're not done with that Okay, yet. my bad, my bad. Okay, okay, let's get into She has more. With the dick riding, we, we, do, we have a workout on there for you to also work the actual muscles you use when you're working out. Mm -hmm. A lot of people be like, oh, I work out all the time. Guess what? The, the, the workouts that you do when your ass at the gym, the workouts you do in life, and the work and the muscles that you motherfucking use when you ride dick, bitch, them are two different things. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of y'all see me doing it and feel inspired and think that mean that means you gonna be able to do it. Bitch, if you don't fucking practice <laughs> the shit I'm telling you to do, right? That, that is not how it works. I see you doing it. I feel you doing it. I know that this is right. So I'm gonna be able to do it too. No, bitch. If I watch an artist motherfucking paint, you be. Do that make me Van Gogh? No. no. You gonna have to practice. You gonna practice, have to practice. Get in there. And people be wanting me to set a motherfucking drink. I can't do that. And then, of course, I have me actually riding somebody as a demonstration. Wow. To show people how, not with a dick in me. Oh, it's girl. Really looking like it's in me. Oh. <laughs> There's no difference. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was riding a real. My mind so. got blown. I'm like, oh, ooh, you was moaning like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. You can't tell. I was in jet some like that. small clothing. Mm. I was in small Jet like, jet, like jet like that, that. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there was, um, there's definitely some videos on there of me giving you demonstrations on a person just to show you, bitch. I'm not just making this shit up and fucking on a fake air person. No, I was riding on a real person. You know, I'm a big girl, like. <laughs> Cause you I know they say that. Some pounds, like, girl. <clears throat> I was riding the best dick when I was like two hundred thirty pounds. Boy, them, them, them bones got more weight to stretch when you got a little meat on them. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> you know what? I'm just trying to tell everybody. Like, I literally had a knee surgery. I literally was two hundred thirty pounds when I first even started these classes. Um, and everybody like, oh, it's cause you small, bitch. I'm still two hundred pounds. Period. And you got so, knees like Megan. Right. Working I ain't them things out. That baby got knee surgery. Okay. <laughs> I just, I show people how to actually do it in a different way, but people think they buy it and then they're going to change. Bitch, if you don't watch this shit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and watch it twice, right. And actually, oh, when you see the, a lot of people are like, oh, I see what you did there that was different. Oh, I tried it. It didn't work. You tried it one time. You didn't work. You got to keep It's a practice. It's not a one hit a quitter. You don't just watch the little. But for real, for real. Like, really, get the fuck out of my face. Like, stop. <laughs> So are you recommending dog. that they practice on a dildo or on their partner or both? Well, the mouth master different. class is on a dildo. I want you to stick to the mouth master class on a dildo first and then try it on a partner. Because when you get with a partner and their blood stop pumping and that shit seems like it's about to nut in your mouth, but you're going to want the ego boost and you're just going to want to swallow. Yeah. But for the dick riding class, I teach you how to do that like just on a person or on a pillow anyway. So you don't have to use that for a dildo. And then there's the masturbation and squirting class where I just show you with like a coochie and a pillow. I just show you what to do and how to do it. So is squirting something that can be learned? Like that was my question. Cause girl. Yes. Or is it but also a lot of people are okay. Y'all ready to talk about it? Y'all ready to talk about it? We're, We're ready. ready. Oh, not the sink. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take a sip. Yeah, I wish I had something to say on shit. All right. But so I'm ready to administer a drink. 
with my squirting. Ew, Brittany, what the <laughs> fuck, dog? No, I love it. Get into you, it. You, you, Get you, yourself. Sippy cup. Accept her. Accept her. <laughs> she's been accepted. I just wasn't expecting. But I, I want the tea. because I'm. Said, she's been accepted, but she wasn't. <laughs> wasn't expecting. Accepted, wasn't expecting. It was accepted, wasn't expected. Okay, this is the name of that episode. Can somebody write that down? Yes, right. yes, we got accepted, it. Accepted, wasn't expected. No, right. that's not juicy enough. No, we I got need something to be juicy. Something like, I'm ready to serve up this squirt drink. Okay, never mind. We're squirting. Okay, anyways. All right. The reason that I say a lot of people are trying to learn how to squirt. Wait, y'all asked me a question. I lied. Is everyone capable of learning how to squirt? Okay, so let's talk about squirting. A lot of people say, oh, I want to learn how to squirt. But exactly what is squirt? Squirting mm -hmm. is ejaculation, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Are we are we even clear about the ways that women ejaculate? Women ejaculate in four different ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. But everybody exactly. Teach us. People We're are like, like hmm. <laughs> light bulb. Teach, teach All right. So, so everybody's like, oh, can you teach me how to squirt? So, are you asking me to teach you how to squirt? Or are you asking me to teach you how to ejaculate? Mm -hmm. It would be ejaculate. So, a lot of people. Basically, ejaculation happens in different ways. Sometimes, like think about a guy. Sometimes they nut a lot. Sometimes they nut a little. But do you really say, "Oh, how do I make them nut a lot?" No. No. Mm. You know they nut it. You you see the ejaculation. It's good. Right? Job's done. Right. We're so, done here. That's the other thing. That's the other thing. Men can ejaculate and have an orgasm at the same time. Right. That's usually the problem when they ejaculate they also have the orgasm so everything is over we're done yeah women can ejaculate without having an orgasm so they can squirt on you they mm. can um cream on you which is another form of ejaculation without even having an orgasm and so everybody is hyping up oh can i make her squirt can i do this can i do that and guess what you're hyping up what her body can do but she but what we're worried about is did she have an orgasm mm. Mm. And guess what? She can squirt without having an orgasm because you can ejaculate without having an orgasm. I'm going to need y'all to run this back. I hope y'all not in the car with the kids in the morning. Right. I'm going to need y'all to run that back. Just, just, we're one. Solo, right. Seconds, let's just start over. All yes. right. So let's get back into it one more time. So there are four different types of ejaculation. I have the video about those four types on my Patreon. Shameless mother. Fucking okay. plug. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> And so, yes, it's literally fifteen dollars, you guys. It's, it's like it's worth it. It's worth it, and it's really worth it. Um, and so there are four different types of ways that women can ejaculate. And so when women say, "Oh, I want to learn how to like squirt," I'm trying to figure out: Are you trying to learn how to ejaculate? Or are you trying to learn how to squirt? Because all women ejaculate, and we have different preferences depending on when you're ovulating, depending mm -hmm. on your period. So, like when I'm near ovulation, I cream more. Mm. Same. Yeah. You know what I'm Looking saying? Looking creamier. So Inside of, of an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's looking creamy. No same, same, yeah. same. No yeast. Mm -hmm. no, no yeast, yeast. just cream. Yeah, some, but sometimes I mean? oh. I'll say that that's even, you could be a little embarrassed. Like, ooh, was that a little white? You know, like, oh, it's a little whiter, a little. As long as it was only doing the sex, I ain't embarrassed at all. I'm like, lick it off. Lick it. Lick it. Lick. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, what no. the fuck can I do? No, I know. But, you know, once that thing gets it pulled out, you're like, oh. You. I feel like they be real nervous. So whenever it cream like that, they be I don't trying think to, like, they get care. you to lick it first. Bitch, I'll lick it. It tastes just fine. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't fine. care. I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um. So a lot of people are asking this question. And then I'd be like, oh, are you asking, can I teach you how to ejaculate? Or are you asking, can I teach you how to squirt? And that right there just stumped, like stops the whole. Yeah. What? Hold on. Are we asking two different things type thing, right? Yeah. But squirting is one form of ejaculating. So if you're trying to specifically learn how to ejaculate, it's like, oh, teach me how to dance. And it's like, oh, you know how to dance. Because mm. you may know how to doogie, you may know how to crump, you may know how to Period. You know, dance with some jazz, whatever. <laughs> but you may be like, oh, no, I want to learn how to tap dance. Right. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Squirting is like tap dance. I wouldn't know how to tap dance. But don't say you don't know how to dance because your body ejaculates regardless. Everybody just ejaculates in different ways. Gotcha. And so squirting is just a way that is more forceful. And so I just teach people how to create that force so they can get what they want. So it can be Force taught. Mm -hmm. It can be taught. Yeah. Cause sometimes I teach how to squirt. you can't and that, that and teach I'm me gonna go, how to squirt. Teach, teach, me, teach me how, how to squirt. squirt. That's what I'm about to be on. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm about to be on the Patreon video because that's one of those things where you're like, does that, like you mentioned, does that happen with everybody's body? Because some women can immediately tap in and it's like automatic. Like, oh, okay, yes, I could do it on command. That, absolutely. And others, it's like, oh, that happened that accidentally. Something. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. Well, see, that's the thing. So that's why I have master classes and then, excuse me, and that's why I have some Patreon classes. So my, my master classes are specifically for digging into exactly what you want to know how to do because it takes multiple classes to teach you how to do it. Mm -hmm. So the master classes are like five classes and more, if not more, right? The Patreon is like, oh, these are different things you need to learn how to do as well that are multiple things. But if you're smart, you can watch all my Patreon videos and figure out how to squirt without taking my... So, like my master classes, they hundred dollars. Why? Because I teach those to celebrities. I mm. go to private parties for those. I get booked. You know what I'm saying for private yeah. events for those. That's totally Period. different. My Patreon is a whole bunch of classes that I figured out how to teach a whole bunch of sex shit in like 20 minutes or less. Got it. Right. Yeah. So those are like much quicker. So my Patreon is like 140 classes. Is like multiple orgasms, how to create a stronger orgasm, how to hold your nut, how to how to have orgasmic breathing. Like mm. I literally have figured out the thing and just taught that in that class. But guess what? You know how like somebody say, oh, I want to teach you how to drive. And you say, oh, how to brake. How to brake don't matter if you didn't know how to turn the car on. Like right. there are different steps of different things. And the Patreon is that. It's a puzzle. Yeah. You need to watch all the fucking videos. Yeah. That's, that's the only difficulty. Versus the master class, I put every video that you need to have together, and they're different from the Patreon videos. Right. For you to be able to have to do this thing. So the pay so the master classes are, hey, I'm gonna give you everything you need to do this great. To do this every one thing. Aspect. Right. Exactly. So with Those squirting, my question is. Do you feel like it intensifies the orgasm? I know there's different types of ej ejaculation, but no. squirting specific. No, okay, it's just for the show. I I think that it can. No, that's not true. It okay. just means that everything and everything. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I can have my str because that's the thing. Orgasms and ejaculation can happen separately for women. If that's the case, yes, sometimes they may happen at the same time, which means that not only did you have an orgasm. But you ejaculated. Mm. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. But guess what? What about the times when you ejaculated didn't have an orgasm? How did that make it better? Because if it ain't got an orgasm with it, I don't give a fuck what it spewed out. I don't give a damn if my coochie spit confetti. Right. I didn't come, bitch. I didn't come. Right. What are you talking about? So that I don't give a damn just... that it squirted. Right. So now I got to clean up a mess and I didn't catch a nut? Yeah, it sounds like a dub. I don't give a damn. I, girl. Got it. Okay, so it's not all it's cracked up to be. Cause you know we. I'm be not saying that. I'm, I'm saying that. I, I'm saying that it's not the same. Like some people like the. Think about it. Women have been faking nuts so long. Y'all have traumatized, and I say y'all have traumatized men to believe that if something comes out the coochie, I did something. Oh. So no. now they value any type of reciprocation from the pussy because people have been faking orgasms for so long with nothing happening. Like, oh well, if it if if it talked back to me, if it spit this if it did that i'm then, doing oh, some i'm really in there exactly yeah. yeah and now we're going after the wrong thing because they're so traumatized that they like damn did i did she fake did she not did she you know what i'm saying we built monsters mm. by lying mm. you know because their egos be so big and it's like if if they really and knew faking these nuts so i don't i don't see why not right yeah. right that's the thing like, it's time ah! for the women to stand the fuck up and let them know you didn't do anything but I can tell you how. Or just letting them know, hey, let me tell you how. Because yeah. Yes. Like, oh, well, he be figuring out this, this. Okay, so that's what you gonna want in thirty years? Does that? Mm. Not to figure out. Mm. Okay, babe. Well, music soul that. child said, "Teach me how." Teach me how to. He said, "Teach me how to love." He did. Teach me so how to. So now we fun. can change it. Teach me how to fuck. That's yeah. what we okay, want. There we go. Teach we all me how okay. to as long fun. As we're on the same page. Yeah. So we're clearly, clearly, women been loving just fine because they've been loving these niggas that ain't fucking them. So period. Good. And you know what? Thinking about teaching and learning, I think I was or in bringing it around to masturbation because that's a piece. I was like much that's older. Cool. <laughs> I was much older when I got into like self-pleasure. I wasn't like masturbating or doing anything like that when I was much younger. I think I was maybe not even up until 
25, 26, where I kind of got a little more comfortable, maybe even a little older. No really, judgment. My eyes are just this open because I think it, I look better this way. <laughs> <laughs> even maybe like not even maybe like last year or a year or two where I really got like into it and like, oh, OK, this is a thing. How do you or what tips do you have for someone who is maybe fearful of self-pleasure or wants to get into masturbating and you know what does that look like what does that process look like yeah so a lot of us have never explored it explored it it's that way too okay. explored, explored it, it and explored it, it. all right you know what i mean <laughs> you yeah. ain't did it yeah so and most of the time it's either just we've never been raised on it but think about it who has actually been in your corner to teach you about sex yeah a lot of people have maybe been able to teach you about preventative Mm -hmm. sex or STDs, but who has actually been in your corner to teach you about sex? So don't use nobody taught me as an excuse because a lot of people have not taught you how to ride or how to suck a dick. Period. Um, they just left us out here. This, look here. What I'm telling you is this. If you had a job, would you not look at your check stub? Mm. If somebody told you they were paying you a certain amount, and you said, okay, would you never look at your check stub? Mm -hmm. Masturbating is like looking at your own check stub. Let me see exactly what they taking out. Let me see what the fuck they put in. Mm -hmm. And baby, let's see what's spitting back to me. Yeah. Okay? I love so, that. Baby, you looking at that pussy's check stub. Yes. Right? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people are not checking the receipts of their own pussy. Mm. You're just assuming that because someone put a dick in you, you came. Because there's so many people that are faking nuts and don't realize they're faking nuts because they've never had a real nut. Mm. If you're not sure, if you've never came, you haven't. Mm. Because it's just like taking a shit. Relief. <laughs> Relief. If you if you had shit on yourself, baby, you would know. Yeah. <laughs> you're shitty. <laughs> you're stinking. You're me. Exactly. <laughs> You would know though, wouldn't you? If you if you would ever like pass a little fart and it was like, oh, hold on, I'm gonna just actually just right. I'm head out. I'm gonna just you know I'm I'm be right back. Yeah, because I know something don't feel the way it it's or it feel different. Mm -hmm. If you caught a nut, baby, it would feel motherfucking different. Okay? Right, so right. You don't just take what people give you without checking the motherfucking receipts, and you can give better directions when you've been there before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how do it's we get comfortable? Like, is do you recommend vibrating? Do you want to just... come or not? Okay, so you just got to get in that thing. Commit. Just start diddle at daddling. Commit. Okay. No, she had a good question. Though. I heard you talking about a toy. Now, now we can talk about specifics. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You talking about how? I was like, bitch, do it. Just yeah, do it. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, are Don't we getting do toys? Don't sue us. Give, a, give my girls a sponsorship, okay? Black girl provider for Nike. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> we, we'll take oh. that. And we'll take the deal, those vibrators Let's too. Let's get into existence, okay? Yeah. Um, Check. toys. Clitoral stimulators are amazing. They're not too strong um, to the point where you develop a aggressive preference mm. um, because being desensitized is full of shit. That's mm. not real. You could just develop a preference. Mm. Um, and then also, I like clitoral stimulators because the body wand does not necessarily give you space to feel what your pussy is going through. So like the, the clitoral stimulators are so light mm. that you get to where you need to go. And you can actually actually feel like what the journey felt like as you were getting there. Mm. You know, like, oh, wow, I felt this and my, my arm was twitching like when I was about to come and this is this. So now when you're actually having sex with a person, you know, oh, my wow, next cock to I the side. <laughs> Yes, my neck cock. Oh, shit, I don't know what's going on. Like, you know? Um, and so, and, and like, just there's space. But a lot of people are rushing their masturbation. They're trying to do it while the kids are doing this or the kids are doing that or before so-and-so get home. And it's like, you're not even being bold about needing to masturbate. So now you're in your head because you're trying to rush or trying to sneak. Mm. Now you're in your head and now you claim it that the toy is bad when, bitch, your schedule is bad. So, but whatever. <laughs> right. You know. Oh. That's the champagne. I'm so sorry. No, I love it. I love it. So when you say it the clitoral, the though, but <laughs> when you say the clitoral stimulator, that's like the little bullet type vibe instead of the 
The one that goes inside. Oh, no, it has like a circle here. One second, let me get it. Here. Oh yes. Cause I have a Tracy's dog and mm, I love a Tracy's dog. It's a G spot in clitoral stimulator. Ooh, what is that? That looked like a Claire this Sonic. Elevator music when I was away. Yeah, oh, there was. This, this hold up, hold up. So wait, look. This is my toy drawer right there. Ooh, yes. Love that. It's time for me to get a drawer. I have one you little. You probably got some spicy ass sex happening over there. <laughs> yeah, girl, you gotta watch the video I'm gonna post tomorrow. Oh, I'll uh, watch on it on the Patreon. We gonna watch it. I got it. my homegirl to do some sex position demos for mm. me because I I don't know if y'all saw those on it. I did like different demos and stuff you could try at home. Yeah, she did some demos with this sex bench I got. She did a demo with um, a fucking machine that I got, and she did a demo with a riding saddle machine and so it's like a machine you see these crazy machines yes girl sometimes you see these say crazy machines like in pornos and you think like oh that's just for porn no you can actually make it real life at home for real for real because <laughs> the positions you post on instagram like i said i have several bookmarked i'm like yeah this needs mm -hmm. to be called the pregnant oh, we did some of them too you need <laughs> to you I'm need to name some, i promise you i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna get on my shit i'm gonna do it tomorrow. You need to change one of the names to one of them positions to the pregnant. The pregnancy. Oh. <laughs> it's happening. Please. Show me that clitoral stimulator. Oh, it looked like a Clarisonic. Yeah, let us see. Girl, it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you put it on one. there. So there are different. Oh, that's types. the so like, suction. There are, two, there are two types on my website. They're made by the same brands. There's like a travel one, and then there's this one on my website, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So um, for this one, you see like this hole. You turn it on. Mm -hmm. You turn on this hole, and it not only does this in the back of your clip, but it also like this part. These move like this, like a wow. suction, it's massaging. No, it's massaging, and it's like. Pulsing. poking it out of there Ooh. and i really like these toys also because tongues can easily emulate what it's doing mm. so it's like tongues can do this right mm. and tongues and mouth and the lips you yeah. know can do this too so it's it's actually relatable i yeah. like that it's easy to, you know i'm not saying it's easy to do for a long time i'm gonna say it can be replicated it's great to have a toy that can do something when your mouth gets tired you know mm. what i mean so yeah, but I, I do they got see, something like for the women that that the women can use on the men when our mouths get tired? The pussy pocket. You said another bitch. Oh shit! Now, now we. I'm sorry. At this point, I gotta work <laughs> oh, my jaw. Actually, that's a lie. Hold on, hold on. That's a lie. That's a lie. Let me. Stop. She got I'm something. Gonna, else. It's probably the pocket. The pocket pussy. The pocket well, pussy. Well, kind of yeah. Yeah. yeah it is. Uh um, -uh, but this one is really great because this one. I don't know if y'all can see it, but you see how it has these on the inside? Ribbed. Wow. They're soft. Mm. Ridges. They're soft. Yes, they're ridges. And if you put like some spit or some lube in there, it like really gives it a texture. And then if you the put way you was moving that. girl, I'm like, <laughs> I'm about to be shaking in my boots. My, I'm shaking so, in my boots. When you put your finger over this though, it brings that suction of like when you suck it on a dick and it's like, mm, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like that. And so when you put your finger over it, so it's literally the closest toy to actually feel like a blowjob. So you can, I actually have a video, um, it's called Bedroom Tales mm -hmm. on Patreon about when I use this on Bay. Ooh. Watch it. I'll watch I that tonight. Actually, we're we're going to be pulling that up. Yeah. How do you introduce the toys into the bedroom? Like You just whip them out? You just whip them out? Do you be like, babe? You, you just be my ass? No, 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 no. I ain't beating nobody ass. No, just fine. Okay, uh, okay, that's not a good. That's not a good explanation. Okay, <laughs> telling him, are you gonna beat my ass? It's oh, crazy. Like, <laughs> like, cause you know, some men are a little like, ooh, you know. No, for real, for real, they are. Yeah. Um, honestly, one, I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes it's about just correcting other things in your relationship because when you start bringing out these things, it'll make more sense, right? Mm. Like, they won't be surprised because you always speak your mind right mm. and then also just letting them know like i enjoy the sex with you and i, I want to see what what the fuck else we could create Ooh, mm. i love introing it like, like that what else can we do i'm not doing this in spite of you i'm doing it because you're so great at what we do like this would work you know 
Um, I have videos about that type of communication on Patreon too, because that's something that people are, you know, afraid of. Difficult to with. So yeah, yeah. Oof, I love that intro. Things that I talk to people about, but yeah, like there's nothing to be scared of. If that person loves you, they do. And if anything, they may have some type of fear or insecurity or past issue. And if you guys can just pinpoint exactly what it is. Let's just try to solve the issue at hand. Yeah. You know, the actual issue, not what you're feeling at the moment. And go from there. But if you're faking orgasms and then you're like, oh, use a toy, I wouldn't want to fuck you with a toy either. Because you're faking. Yeah. Yeah. It's then they're going to see. Fair. They're like, going to see that. People want to lie and then they want to give you the whole truth. You don't. You didn't want to do the real work first. You didn't want to even help me fix the fake orgasms and then you made me feel insecure by bringing in a toy but you didn't even tell me the truth mm-hmm. versus, or you told me the truth, you saw I didn't accept the truth and then you tried to bring in a toy versus breaking up with me, which you, that, it still don't match up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. If you told them the truth that they wouldn't make you come and he was like, oh, well, I'm using a toy and they're not open to it, you should have broke up with them anyway, but yet you still try to make it work. And so what do you want from them? They're human. Mm-hmm. Girl. Let's just be honest. Like we be wanting shit from people that's unrealistic. That's very true. You didn't give them this. You didn't give them the struggle that really was required for y'all to make this work, which is it's going to be hard for you to tell the truth. Take that L. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. So, do you think that obtaining se- sexual liberation is a necessity before feeling comfortable with talking about sex with your partner? And if so, like, how can someone sexually liberate themselves? I think that sometimes everything happens in different order. There are so many people that have successful relationships that did things in order. I would never do it. Mm -hmm. And they would probably have success and probably tell you, hey, don't do it this way, though. Yeah. Yes, we can do things the hard way or the easy way. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, But liberation is about picking you. And it's not about sexual liberation. If you're not picking yourself in sexual liberation, you're probably not picking yourself in real life. I'm not teaching you to do something that I want you to do just in the bedroom. I'm teaching you sexual essentials. And the essentials of sex are for you to get your life right first. Period. Period. Sex is the benefit afterwards. Like, using sex to fix problems won't work. And all of that. You have to work on you. And if you're a great person, you'll have great sex. I promise you. Oh, It really will work that way. It all comes back to the self. Every time. Don't be a selfish person that's like, oh, I'm a great person, but I don't want to tell them this. Does that really make you great that you actually led them on to think they were doing something correct and you weren't? Because mm-hmm. imagine if you told your child that they were saving properly and you just put money in their bank account every time. How do you think that would really work out in their life? Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're so scared to lose. Mm. But I promise you, if you were the right person, you won't lose. Period. You're going to be gaining. You know what, boo boo? You've dropped so many gems. You've been so real, so honest. You do what you do. Tell our girls. Wait, they... I got one more question. Oh, shit. Okay. Do you Brittany's have... ready for this. This is Come on, Brittany. Come on. I She's mean, loving it here. Do you have any tips for the girls who want to... Any tips for the girls who want to have hot girl summers and want to hook up? Mm. Like, maybe they're not looking to build with one person. Maybe they just want to be out here, out here. And I feel like that might be a different type of um, tool, set of tools in your tool bag. So do you have any tips or suggestions? Absolutely. What do you want? Acknowledge what it is you want to feel. First question. If you can acknowledge what you want to feel, then you'll know if the person that you're talking to fits any of those categories. Mm -hmm. So if you say, you know what, hey, I want someone to always want to take me out to eat, right? Say you got other niggas you talking to that do all the other things, but it's like everybody else like home cooked food, everybody <laughs> like this, everybody like that, and you like, okay, what's the one thing I'm missing? I'm missing going out to eat. Right. right? If then if the the new nigga that you trying to talk to don't like going out to eat, he don't fit your motherfucking needs. You just putting on baggage now. Now you got now you got groceries in your refrigerator that's gonna go to waste. Right. You didn't put this nigga on the on the roster. Right. Yeah. And he don't fit what you needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bitch, stop being so fucking horny and just say no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be taking out to eat. I really have a video on there that's about like not fucking people just because they're attractive. Mm. Be attracted. Mm. Mm. 
And on that note, my name is Samaya. I love you guys very much. Thank you for listening. Please find me on Instagram at yes, Central's all one word. <laughs> yes, and please, y'all, join her Patreon because, like she said, over 140 videos, so many tips, all the tea that you gave us today yeah, is just every week. It's just a small little touch a dose of what she's really offering yeah we barely scratched the surface there's so much yes girl thank I you like so yeah, much to, FaceTime to me tomorrow like girl what's up let's talk about it I, I really feel this spiritually because i've been trying to make like more girlfriends so yes. you shouldn't have gave us yeah. your number samaya because yeah. we will have <laughs> And once we took I, it, I love a, I love a good stalker every now and then. I love it. That's us, girl. girl you that's talking us. about Jamila and Erica, no, your no, wife? No, we gonna be no, pulling no. up wherever y'all at. Like the polygamy, <laughs> it's gonna be all of us. This, this, is, this is my baby. So um, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna hit y'all up so we could be there together. Yes. From St. Louis, so everybody is there. Please, so, yes, right there. there, right there. Uh, uh, okay, because we're yes. chicken head all the way down today. <laughs> yeah. We gonna. Uh, no, uh, this, uh, is, this is this is great. These are amazing questions. Like these are honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, okay, it was a full like when I tell you I had meetings all day, and then I got on here and I saw the questions and I was like. These are different. Like, okay, they're asking like a different viewpoint. And I, I really appreciate that. And I'm not saying that like the other viewpoints are bad. It's yeah. just, it's refreshing. And so I'm very proud of you guys. And I, I really send all of my energy to you all to go as high as y'all want to fucking go. Thank Make you a so choice, much. You guys. Make a choice and decide to go all the way. All the way okay? up. And that's what we love to hear. Is go all the way. Yes. Just make a choice. <laughs> Thank you.